Why, hello, I didn't see you there. You're probably wondering where you are. Let me give you a hint. You're condemned to the fires of eternal damnation. Yeah, this is hell. Now you're probably also wondering why this is so quick a realty office. Let's just say I was so good at my job in our cut. There's no way in hell I can do to you either. <laughs> now my name is Robert Selsa. I'm the resident realtor, tour guide, and overall determiner of faith here at hell. Now this is a very specific hell relegated only to those whose crimes were that of having a beautifully trimmed lawn and a perfect white picket fence. Yes, this is suburgatory. You reap what you sow down here, and let's just say what people sow isn't always as pretty as the houses they have on Earth. You know what? Why don't I take you on the grand tour? You don't even know where you might end up. Let's start with our first street, Reckless Road, and see if we can find a property that's perfect for you. You're not moving. You're good. Inhabitants of Reckless Road are tied to the street and forced to be trampled by the various animals and other things they make with their hummers and SUVs and their suburbs. On the plus side, they have a little bit of company. Now, let's say that you were a little bit worse and took your inconsiderate nature past the roads to everything you did. Then you might be more suited for one of our properties on Inconsiderate Isle. Those on Inconsiderate Isle are forced to join in the program and most forced to indulge it. Well, it helps us in the side of the moral system to affect your inconsiderate nature. Now, maybe you were a wee bit worse than your suburban crimes than you're an absolutely spoiled brat. Well, then, Bratty Boulevard might just be the place for you. The brats of Bratty Boulevard are allowed some solitary confinement with the material possessions they valued more than their relationships on Earth. They are forbidden from communication with anyone else for the rest of eternity. No Wi-Fi. Oh my god! No cellular connection. And on top of that, they get to listen to an incessant... Hello? Loud Hello? Oh my god! The shallow suburbanites of Shallow Street are forced to have the ugliness in their interior reflected on the outside. The more makeup they put on, the uglier they become, and people can look at them and laugh at them through a two-way window through which they only see themselves, but they can hear the laughs. At least they don't have to worry about their makeup anymore. Maybe you committed one of the worst sins of suburbia and lost yourself by trying to chase after someone else's image. Then Clone Court might just be the place for you. Here on Clone Court, those suburbanites that aim to be someone else as opposed to embracing their own individuality are devoid of any. They are expressionless and mindless, trapped within the confines of their own insecurities for the rest of eternity. Now we've come to our final street, reserved only for those who are guilty of the worst sin of suburbia. Those flawed to of wealth who have no conception of a life other than their privileged own and refuse to acknowledge that anyone else exists. Yes, we're at Money Tosser Trail. And the punishment here is the most severe of all. On Money Tosser Trail, those suburbians who flaunted their money and threw it around as though it were nothing are denied it. Any time money tries to touch their hand, it is immediately blown away, as are other necessities.
Another day? And never die. That's it. That's the grand tour of hell. Now the only question is, where do you belong?